As you move toward network transformation, power management is key, but so is sustainability. Scott Day, Global Telco and Edge Business Development at Intel, is here to show us how Intel Solution addresses both concerns. Scott, thanks for being with us. Thank you, Clarence. Scott, everybody is talking about sustainability, but here at HPE Discover, we're seeing lots of solutions that require a lot of power. How do you reconcile the two? That is a really good point, Clarence. Um, data is exploding both inside of the data center and even more so at the edge. The amount of data that we consume, um, everyone consumes on a daily basis is, is, is tremendous. Um, and how do, you, how do you really, you know, one of the things that a lot of folks don't think about is that as we're consuming data, as this data explosion um, continues, um, the amount of power required to fuel that data explosion, right? Because it's not just creating the data, it's processing the data. There are more demands on the data. We're introducing new aspects such as AI and you know, other, other new technologies to manipulate the data, to drive outcomes for, for, for humans and you know, to improve our daily lives. But that all requires power. And when you up the power, you impact your carbon footprint and ultimately you know, sustainability, you know, becomes more and more of an issue, right? So as human beings, you know, obviously we're, we're, everybody is well aware of the effects of climate change that we're dealing with today. Um, and quite frankly, we've got to do something about it. We've got to do good first and foremost. And one of the technologies that Intel is trying to demonstrate here today with our dynamic AI-based 5G core power management demo is the art of the possible. What can be done today to drive more sustainability into data with already existing feature sets and technologies across the ecosystem. So let's take a look at Intel's solution. So, you know, let me just kind of jump into um, this dashboard right here. You know, just like the makeup of the demo itself, we don't like to use synthetic benchmarks. So we're leveraging a, a traffic profile, a real world traffic profile provided to Intel by a tier one service provider in Europe. Um, and as you can imagine, you know, service provider traffic profiles uh, on their network, obviously there are peaks uh, for, of throughput as well as troughs, right? So in this instance, we're leveraging, we're, we're showcasing four instances of 5G UPF and we're following the, the throughput of these uh, four 5G UPFs throughout the day, right? You know, obviously when, you know, everybody gets home from work, you're on your, you're on your computer, your PCs, you're on your, your phones, you're, 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 you're putting more and more demand on that, uh, on the network. Um, and as folks go to bed, you know, not as much is happening uh, uh, on that side, right? So this actually, um, demonstrates the, the, the CPU frequency which actually follows along the traffic pattern. Um, as, the, as the peaks go up, the frequency go up, goes up, uh, as uh, we see the troughs in the traffic pattern, the, the frequencies drop as well. And it's really showcasing what we call P states inside of the processor as the frequencies go up and down, right? So without, you know, without any sort of um, AI agent or uh, any leveraging any sort of the telemetry that fuels that AI agent to, to um, modulate the frequency to support the traffic that is required at that moment in the day, this particular server would pull 610 watts out of the wall, right? At this particular instant, this server is drawing 445 watts, leveraging that the, the, the dynamic you know, frequency ups and, and, and downs, right? And over a 24 hour period, what we're seeing is uh, a, an average 427 watt power draw, which equates to a 30% power savings, uh, you know, in the, uh, in the 5G core, right? So um, one of the key features of this is not just, you know, saving power, but it's how do you save the power, you know, beyond just, you know, manipulating the frequencies with an AI agent and leveraging the telemetry that the underlying hardware um, as well as the, the software components provide, but it's also about meeting SLAs, right? 
You know, in a telco network, you can't afford to drop packets because there are critical services that are being delivered by that network. And what you can see here is, again, um, each of the four instances of 5G UPF, uh, we are not dropping any packets at all. So we're actually demonstrating, you know, not only leveraging AI to, to manage the network, to deliver sustainable solutions, but also delivering it in a way that we maintain SLA um, for the end customer. So, you know, obviously this, you know, I'll go back to the fact that this is a, a, a technology demonstration, even though it uses off the shelf, commercially available, and, you know, in, in the case of uh, Intel and HPE, you know, um, software and hardware feature sets that have been, you know, uh, iterated upon for the last several years and continuing to improve, there's still a need in the broader industry for the ecosystem to come together, take advantage of these hardware software feature sets and bring more sustainable solutions to the market. So, you know, from an Intel perspective, the ideal state that um, we ultimately want to drive to um, in partnership with, you know, critical companies like Hewlett Packard Enterprise is to bring more sustainability-centric solutions to the marketplace.